Hi you guys, just coming in with another quick video. So, in this video I'm going to show you how I do all my prep work, apply tips, um, push back the cuticles and all that jazz before I actually start applying the acrylic. Um, my lovely client Kelly Willy come in and let me video her doing her nails. So we're just starting fresh. Obviously I cleansed my hands and I've cleansed my client's hands and I'm going straight in with a cuticle pusher. This one is my Born Pretty Chameleon um, cuticle pusher. I love this cuticle pusher. It suits so many nail bed sizes. This bit here is where I go in with after pushing the cuticles back just to get all that dead skin underneath the nail bed because if you don't get rid of that then you're more likely to get lifting. Now I know it looks like I'm being very aggressive with this cute little bit but I promise you I'm not, it's on a very minimal speed. It just does all the work for you, gets rid of the dead skin for you not to get that lift in on your clients. I promise you I am not being aggressive or heavy handed. So now I'm going in with my cuticle nippers, getting rid of that dead skin. I don't do this all the time. But when I've got that little bit of extra growth of dead nail bed skin, not nail bed, dead cuticle skin, then I take that off. I do apologise, I'm out of shot a little bit, but I did want to keep this bit in because I don't show it in my other videos, just to show you what I do. Now, go, now I go in with a hand file. This is um, the lowest grit file, I think, which is 180-180 um, grit. Um, just to get rid of that surface shine and just so the nail glue has got some more adhesive area to stick to. And then we shall be applying the tip. So the tips I'm using here are um, Pro Impressions clear ones. I always prefer these ones, don't ask me why but I always do, I think it's easier. These are the ones with no wells as well, so I think it's the best when you're adding your nail glue and all that lot so then you can see the air bubbles and stuff like that that you don't want obviously and it's just nice to get in and get the tip added on.
So now I'm coming in with a hand file, just doing the shape that my client wanted. So we're doing an almond shape on this one. Obviously I'm going to do this all on 10 fingers, getting rid of all the excess nail tip at the bottom, which can be a pain on shorter nails, but it's fine, just get rid of it in a minute. Um, just making sure that there's a desired length. Um, I didn't leave much of this rest of this video in because all I did was just blended the sides a little bit and then cleaned up and then we got on with the acrylic application so I hope you guys enjoyed this little insight of how I prep my nails and all that lot I'm not saying what I do is absolutely correct all you guys out there might do it totally different than me so obviously that's why I have the disclaimer at the front I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like it please give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please subscribe and click that bell button thank you for watching and for the next time bye